Hello, this is Jim and welcome to ISL Online TV. Today we'll be looking at the unattended access functionality of ISL Lite. Open up ISL Lite 4 and check it out. We log in with our username and password and this time we open up the computers tab. As you can see, there are some computers in the list already, which means that we already set up unattended access on them and we can connect them at any time. So click on one of these computers, type the access password, and there we go. We can control the remote computer without having to enter the session code. All right, so let's take a look at how to make the computer accessible. We're going to show you three ways of adding the computer to the remote access list. Okay, so let's get started. Click plus and then click add this computer from the drop down menu. Note that the software which provides the remote access functionality is called ISL Always On. Click Next, It'll wait a little bit, and then click Finish. Now since this is the first time the software is installed on the computer, you'll be prompted to enter an access password. This password will be used in the future to establish a connection to the machine, so make sure you select a very strong password in this step. And voila, we're done. Jim now has access to the computer from anywhere. Let's click Refresh in ISL Lite, and we can see that another computer is added to the list. Okay, let's see how to add a remote computer, or better yet, 100 remote computers, with a few simple clicks. Click on the plus sign again, and select Set Unattended Access. Send the invitation email to a person which has access to the remote computer that you wish to add. In our case, that's Tim. So in order to add more computers, simply send the email to a mailing list with an unlimited number of recipients, and they can all follow the next few steps. Okay, so on the other side, your client clicks the invitation link, which automatically downloads ISL Always On onto that computer. And then run to begin the installation. Allow the app to make changes, and follow the installation by clicking Next. Wait for a bit and click Finish. Enter the access password for your computer, and then you can click Grant Access. As you can see, user Jim now has access to your computer. Okay, so the third option. Let's go back to the operator side and check out how the invitation email that we sent before looks like. Click the plus button again and set unattended access. However, this time, click the Open as Email button down below, which will open the email with the default email client on your computer. As you can see, the clickable link has been changed to a visible one. Now copy the 12 digit code at the end of the link and share it with your client at a remote computer, over the phone, via text message, and so on. Okay, now on the other side, your client opens up our website, islonline.com, and clicks the join button. Here, they can enter the code you just shared with them and click join. ISL Always On is automatically downloaded and some information is displayed to whom you are granting access. Click Save and Run to begin. Follow the installation as before. Allow the app to make changes to your computer. Click Next, wait a bit, and click Finish. Enter the access password and click Grant Access and then Save. All right, so before we wrap this up, let's have a quick word about how access passwords work. When you select the access password for a computer, the password remains tied to the computer itself rather than to your account, meaning that all users that will connect to the computer in the future will have to enter the same password that you have chosen. That's all from us for now. For any additional information, please visit our live chat at islonline.com and we'll be happy to accommodate. Thank you for watching and see you next time.